Hello, this is Larry with Rapid Set Metal Buildings, and this is video number 10 of our series on Rapid Set Online System, where you can get a price and print out plans. In this video, we'll be on plans and, and uh, walking through your design. So, where we left off on video 9 was the quote form here, and you can see that uh, we have a 3D of our building and the price, just as you chose it online, and you just simply click Next. And you can see that the uh, the drawings are being generated, but as you can tell, they're kind of a little fuzzy because they're uh, um, pictures as opposed to uh, crisp layout. And you can see here that uh, like this is the frame and the the right end wall, front side wall. But if you just wait for that, be patient and wait for those drawings to be made. You can see under here that you could create PDF drawings. So let's go ahead and do that. And you can see that this is a real crisp drawing, uh, which you could print out larger if you wanted. You could save to your desktop uh, by just this here, download them, uh, whatever you'd like. But two things I like to point out on the frame plan is um, where the flange braces are right here, FBC 32A in one in parentheses. That means the flange brace is 32 inches long, and one means that it's only one needed at that location on one side of the frame or the other, but not both. And then another thing is when you start your sheeting here, um, you would overhang by the eave strut right here, five and a quarter inches. And your roof panel is uh, 340.5 inches. Anyway, just a little side note there. Uh, then if you go to the other PDF drawings, you can see how clean it is uh, for you to just print out and, and study if you like. Put it into your pillow and think about getting it if you like. Um, and then also up in the right-hand corner here, there's symbols that tell you what diameter the bolts are. And you can see here that this looks like uh, uh, three-quarter inch uh, diameter bolts, and there's four of them on this post. But keep in mind that we would only call out the diameter. The depth of the bolt or the length of the bolt in the concrete would be called out by the foundation design people. If you have a really high wind, you'd have really long anchor bolts. I mean, if you'd have a lot of uh, snow load, they don't have to be as long because you're, you have all download as opposed to upload. Um, then you can see here that after you, the PDFs are done, actually when after the first set is done, you'll have an option for a walk around or a walk through. And this is a new feature that we're still getting the bugs out. But let's go ahead and click them and uh, talk about it here. If you come on the site and you're anonymous, uh, which we allow you to do three anonymous quotes, uh, and you want to do the 3D walk around, you're just going to have to be patient and have the server just grind and grind, and then you just can't leave this page. If you do, then you, there's no way to come back uh, and get your design or your drawings or your 3D or anything. And as you probably already noticed that if you're doing a design and you want to change something on the, on the page before, in some cases you can by clicking on the boxes above, but most places you can't because it has to go sequential in order for the design system to understand what you're doing. And so if you click back on the browser, it will just throw you out to the beginning. And I know that that's frustrating, but it just has to be that way. So anyway, we're just waiting for our, uh, our 3D generations to generate. And when they do, there'll be a little link there. As you can see, uh, when one of them are done, you'll have view walk around 3D available here. And that took a good few minutes. I just edited out the, uh, uh, the silence. So let's go ahead and click on that. And you could see that if you chose colors uh, in the accessory screen, it will take that into account when, it, when you make the 3D and you're walking around it. And as you can see, the button popped up for the walkthrough. Uh, and this took quite a while. Um, I edited out quite a bit of uh, dead space, uh, just waiting for the button to pop up. So let's go ahead and have a look. And amazingly, it takes the AutoCAD drawings and generates the visual in a 3D form, which is really amazing. Um, and one good thing to note um, about this particular design uh, to, get a, to get a feel or a vision for the inside of your building is where the bracing is. And if you plan on doing something where the X bracing is, you really need to take note of that and either have us change it or get into advanced mode where you could set bracing and bay spacing and, and a whole bunch of other fun options. 
that would benefit you where you could use that space for the x brace because it cannot be taken out um, in order to like put another opening or whatever you would hope to do in that space. Um, so keep that in mind. Well, that's it for uh, this video number 10 of our simple price plans and design system. Uh, this is Larry with Rapids at Metal Buildings, and thanks for.